to another episode of Hemp Hotline. I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you for those of you joining here on video. It's going to be a wonderful night. Tonight we're talking about side effects of CBD. And right now we are on the green carpet. I'm um, going to hang on for a couple minutes until we get started at 6 o'clock. But I appreciate you all so much. Thank you all for being here. Rage Remedies, thank you so much. Pure Oxide, Brian Ford, welcome, welcome. Thank you all, I appreciate you for being here. BC Kent One, thank you so much. It's so wonderful tonight to be back here on Hemp Hotline and to be engaging with the community. I love it. And tonight, Melissa and I are gonna talk about side effects of CBD. Hey Melissa, what's up? Jen, what's up Jen? How's it going? How's um how's Miami treating you? Hey Todd and Veronica, welcome. What's up, Melissa? What is up? Let me get in some better light in just a second. I'll go to my galaxy. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of uh, researching some brands for C D reviews two point oh and I lost track of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's still gonna be a good life. Today was a good day. I, um, those of you who are watching, I am actually recording this on my phone. So I will post this after on YouTube, Facebook, yeah, on IGTV for those of you who want to rewatch this again. It's probably just gonna be me on camera, you're gonna see. You're not gonna be able to see Melissa unless you watch it live. I appreciate yeah, hi Dora, welcome. I'm doing great, I'm mean, actually, I'm doing good. I'm in a lot of pain. So those of you who don't know, I started my CV journey because of my wrist. So I have torn ligaments in my left hand. I also have osteoritis in my right hand because I had torn ligaments. So the bones are rubbing against each other. And Ouch. on a, right now, I'm probably about, I said eight or nine on the pain scale. But due to me taking CBD, it's about a four or five right now. Earlier today, I was experiencing it from a six to a seven. And I've been dealing with this kind of pain constantly since 2005. Um, but it's been affecting me since 1996. And so I just want you all to know that uh, I am grateful for CBD and all the wonderful things that it is doing for me. I am no longer taking uh, pills. It's been a few years since I've been taking pills, and so I am grateful. I know a lot of you here are um, also stopped taking pills because of cannabis. So I want to say congratulations. You know, we are all in the same boat. We are all here to heal and help each other grow in a very good um, um, way. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's 6 p.m. here Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, like Melissa like to say, 6 p.m. Western. I am grateful to have every one of you here for another episode of Hemp Outline. Tonight we're talking about the side effects of CBD. And yes, there are side effects when it comes to um, CBD. Um, it's not bad compared to taking pills, but I want to explain to you um, some of the things that I found and so that you can be more enlightened when it comes to uh, taking CBD. And this, this way, if something's your body change, you can be prepared. And um, please, please, please make sure that you always talk with your doctor um, when you take CBD. It's something that you want your healthcare professional to be up to par with your um, treatment. I told my, 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 uh, my doctor, the VA, and you know, they anti-marijuana. Um, but I let them know I take CBD and I stopped taking pills. And so that's what works for me. So to get started, Ms. Melissa, have you heard anything about any of the negative side effects of CBD? liver 
Yes, yeah, walk around. Right, Thank you, Reese Remedy. That's what I meant. Yeah, so. <laughs> true. There's uh, antibiotics like um, Jimmy Flo Floxin, well, Cipro, Naroxin, Floxin. There are some beta blockers. Um, the heart medications like Corex, Lipitor, um, Cotarone, Plavix, um, Valsartan. There's blood pressure medicine like um, Procardia, Diabin. These are just some of the medicines that are affected. We, we try to look at it as if you're on medicine and you cannot eat grapefruit, then it's a um, higher chance that you cannot take CBD. And when I'm talking about CBD, I'm talking about CBD isolate itself, not full spectrum or broad spectrum. This is CBD isolate. So you really, really want to talk to your doctor. And on our website, if you go to the homepage at cbd.how, we have a, a blog that stick it right on the homepage that talks about CBD and drug interaction. It's a long read, but it's something that you all really should um, read and look up so that in case that's just you, you know, you are um, aware of any precautions. Now, the general common ones, you know, that's less uh, interacting with compared to the liver are dry mouth. And as Melissa and I can attest to, this is very common for people, not only on THC, but also CBD. I have experienced that myself. Um, changes in appetite. So from my experience, based on the three years and also talking to others, loss of appetite is one of the common symptoms of um, CBD. It helped me able to lose 50 pounds. Um, I don't uh, eat as much as I used to. I mean, my body doesn't feel like it needs to eat. And I've actually seen this happening to my mother. When I first got her started taking CBD, after like a week, she was like, Bevan, I, I, I started, I'm not eating as much. I'm like, yeah, mom, that's CBD you know, affecting you. It's not a bad thing, but you want to be, um, at least be informed that this is one of the, the things um, CBD affects you. And so just be more mindful when it comes to um, making sure you eat. Um, yeah, with a lot of like snack foods and uh, processed foods that are made out there, there's a lot of chemicals that are added into these foods to really kind of mess with our brains into thinking that we need to eat more. Um, and the thing about CBD is it will re-regulate those same brain chemicals to put it back to what it should be. So, you, like for me, like Bevan was saying, like I used to snack all the time and I would just want to eat, eat, eat all the time. And I thought it was just because, you know, I was an athlete and I worked out all the time, but it was really because I was eating a lot of snack foods that were messing with my brain. And now that I'm taking CBD, I'm actually less attracted to eating those snack foods and I eat, like, actual real food. Like, if I want a snack food now, I have to make it myself. Um, and then that way I know everything that's in that snack food, there's none of those chemicals in it. Yeah. And Reed's Remedy brought a good point about THC. Um, causing some seizures. There, there are some um, reports of TEC affecting others. I know TEC actually heightens anxiety. If you're a person that's prone to really um, high levels of anxiety, TEC will compound the effect. Um, one of the other things that uh, side effect of CBD is low, low blood pressure. Now, I have seen this personally. I was taking uh, amidofen for high blood pressure. And when I started taking CBD, I, my doctor actually had me monitoring my levels. This was outside of CBD. I was already monitoring my levels of my blood pressure on a daily basis because my doctor wanted me to keep a record. And I noticed once I started taking CBD over the few months, uh, my first few months, my blood pressure started coming down. And I'm so able to say that I stopped taking down the blood pressure medicine, Melissa. And this also, <laughs> this also affected me in that um, it was helping me as well as when I was losing my, my weight. So I, I'm not going to say 100% that that would happen, but from the research I was doing, it correlates to my personal experience of my blood pressure reducing. And then once I fully lost all the 50 pounds, my blood pressure came back with the normal rate. So I am truly, truly grateful. CBD was a key for me to change my health. I, I suffer from anxiety and depression. And before I was on CBD, 
I was not really motivated to change myself. Once that anxiety, depression came down, it made, played a big part in, in me um, just having a better overall wellness in my life. And I'm, I'm truly grateful. This is why I'm so you know, pro, a pro um, CBD, and I'm, but always active, um, be advocate for um, CBD and helping others become better versions of themselves. Some of the other things are dizziness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and um, changes in, mo in mood. So changes in mood can be anything from being um, high strong or being just be like moody as in not really want to go out, you, you become a little, um, maybe more, you could say more anxious, you know? This is where it's important to really talk to your doctor and this is why we always advocate for the community to continue to do research to really find out what's going on here. And like Reza Raymond says, CBD is the antidote to THC side effects. Um, so, yeah. This is, you, yeah. Want, you want to elaborate on that? Oh, I was just saying, yeah, like there's been plenty of times where I've had way too much THC and the paranoia will kick in, the heart starts racing, and then my thoughts start going ballistic, and then I'll just take a couple puffs of a CBD base and then back to a good level. Like it's, it's like an instant chill. Well, for me, it was not instant. I I was in Vegas this time last year, December last year, and I was in um, recording for um, this company, and so everybody was smoking weed, and you know, one of the things I'm grateful for moving away from this, but being part of the crowd, you know, everybody smoking, so I got a little stone. I think it was on like 23rd floor, and that anxiety started kicking in because I have a fear of heights. And so I went inside, I sat down, I started puffing on my, I had a vape pen, and I'm so grateful I had a, a CBD vape. <laughs> After about 20 minutes, you know, the TNC effects started slowly coming down, and then I got into uh, recording the interview. But this was not the only time that happened, um, especially being in LA. I always carried my, my CBD vape pen with me, and no matter where I go to any event, I made sure I have it because you never know. I don't like driving high. And so um, I, I, I smoke, I got a little buzz, and I made sure I take my CBD um, every few, maybe like 10 to 20 minutes whenever I'm out like events so that I can make sure that I'm able to drive properly. Because the last thing I want to do is to um, get pulled over and I'm stoned. And this is why I love, when I'm consuming THC, I prefer to do it at home or around people who I know is going to be there for me. Now, there's some things we have to think about. Uh, quickly, a study published in 1986 in the International Journal of Neuroscience examined the effects of CBD oil in five patients with diastonic movement disorders, which is basically muscle tremors and other forms of uncontrollable movements. The CBD side effects that was um, noticed were mild and include hypotension, which is considered low blood pressure, dry mouth, psychomotor slowing, which is slow thoughts of movements, lightheadedness, and sedation. And this is according to the study's authors, Paul Consoro, Ruben Sandijk, and Stuart R. Snyder. Now, this is very good. Um, this is why we constantly um, always push for more studies. Um, it's gonna help us to be able to see what's really going on with CBD. Now, the last thing I really want to bring up is it's not just the side effects. We have to think about the quality of the products that you buy. If a product is t um, tested for my uh, pesticides, mycotoxins, residual solvents, all these things can affect your body. There's members of the community that we've talked to who was allergic to pesticides, allergic to mycotoxins. One of our friends actually ended up in the hospital for two weeks because of mycotoxins in, um, in um, cannabis. That's insane. Please, 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 I always um, check lab reports. Please investigate these brands that sell um, CBD because the quality of oil matters. If a, a farm is planting hemp and they do not test the, the soil and the soil has contaminants in there, hemp naturally extract that from the, the soil and that ends up into your, can, into your cannabis um, plant. And if it's not uh, flushed properly, the, um, it's not tested properly, 
as you saw in the report we showed with Prism Hemp having their their products all over the floor, people are walking it. The guy is selling smokable hemp with mold and he's bragging about it on Instagram. This is going to show you that there are a lot of bad players out there in the industry. And this is why we are here to help the community be more aware of what's going on so that you can make informed decisions when you purchase products. And <laughs> the sad thing is, a lot of people probably took him up on the offer. And you can tell that was a bad player because he deleted his Instagram right after we called him out. You know, the community members went after him and he deleted his Instagram page. Just like other brands who are upset at us for um, calling them out. If you advocating that your product is 200 milligrams of CBD and it's on the bottle itself and your own lab report showed that it's 57, and it's, what bothers me most is when you buy a thousand milligram bottle of um, product and it's not even that it's mislabeled, it's just misrepresented, it's falsified, it's putting 1,000 milligrams and consumers who are not fully educated, they see the 1,000 milligrams and they naturally assume that it's 1,000 milligrams CBD. And if it's full of spectrum, it's not going to be a thousand milligrams of CBD, it's actually going to be a less. You have to think about... The, Exactly. The lab report is zero terpenes. So it's like, why are you labeling it full spectrum when it's obviously not full yeah. spectrum? And what a lot of companies are doing also now, they're, I'm not saying it's wrong, but they have isolates and then they add individual cannabinoids to the product, which is really great because this can really help those of us with genetic problems. It's been able to help us dial down, down the, the dosage um, that we need. Because some of us need more CBG. We have gut issues, IBS, Crohn's. Um, CBG is very well studied for that. Um, CBN is really good for sleep. So having those those other cannabinoids is really great. But the problem comes when you claim that's full spectrum, and there's you know there's no THC in there. Um, full spectrum is the purest pl is the plant. By extracting and using the purest oil that's there, that's full spectrum. When you isolate stuff and then you add it back together, it's no longer full. It's like taking a cup of water, you know, and removing something from it and then still calling it full. If we see a brand saying it's full spectrum and the lab report shows that it's just CBD, then it's not full spectrum. Don't let these brands um, take your money. This is why losses are already in progress. There's a lot of class action losses, especially for hand bombs, just CBD, name a few and more losses are coming and being behind the scenes I can tell you that more losses are coming so everything that we do for the community is not to hurt you it's for you to be informed this is for the brands to be saying hey thank you better Melissa for showing us what's going on thank you for getting our products tested maybe it's time for us to look at our process maybe there's something in our SOP that we should be doing better and testing more regularly you know, the last thing we want for you to do is to be sued and be out of business, especially if you're doing things the right way. Um, yes. We are just the messengers and we're here to help you and it's uh, up to you to take the permission and use it in a way to better yourself and your company. Because at the end of the day, it's all love and there's enough money in this industry for everybody. There's enough piece of pie. There's millions and millions of people in this world who need CBD and Instead of trying to hurt somebody to be rich, want to help people and in return that person help somebody. Because word of mouth is always going to be the key when it comes to selling products. And wouldn't you rather have your customer telling their five siblings or the five members in the family, hey, this is a good product. This, this company actually take the time to educate me. All of a sudden that five people turns into 15, which turns into 20. Because they're always going to tell their friends. People talk. You know, just, just like anything else in this industry. When I love something, I tell everybody. And yep. the community tells their friends and family, which leads into more business for you. So it's important to really educate. It's important to get the lab reports. And it's um, all about love. 
That's all I have for today. Next week, I'm going to um, dive into another topic. You know, I appreciate you all so much. If you have any questions, now is the time to um, please ask. So, Reed said, not just getting sued, they will go to jail. Yes, once the FDA gets their act together, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy to see what happens. And, and it's not just the FDA. It's going to be um, other companies and other departments being created, you know. I have a pretty good feeling that the FDA is going to create some kind of, um, um, not law enforcement, but some kind of like division within the, into, within the department to regulate um, um, CBD. And then who's to say that, uh, if you look at the way life is, it's always the local cops that do all the work and then the FBI comes in and take all the credit. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. This is the smaller people. Brands. People like us, other organizations, the ones going to be doing all the policing and then report this to the FDA and the FDA is going to calm down, you know, um, hard because it's less work for them, it's less money. And as long as they have the, um, your ducks in the road on the paperwork, um, standard, oper standard operating procedure. This is why when we tested the four products, I made sure to cover um, G2 Aviticals um, ass, as we're going to say by not letting them know who the brands are. And so the brands who are upset at us for calling them out, you cannot blame the lab. The lab just tests the product without knowing who it is. And so I am very grateful for them. Where can I learn more for treating my anxiety? You can go to www.cb.how to learn more. Yes, um, Ashwanger. Ashwa Am I saying it right? Ashwanga? Ashwanga. Yeah, so Brittany, the owner, created her original tonic CBD, the OG tonic, um, to cure her own severe depression and anxiety. So right there, it tells you like that particular product, that blend that she makes, is to target those specific ailments. So um, when I started using it, like after a week, it was like my life changed and I could like actually interact with people without feeling really nervous and constricted and could actually say words and like yeah it, it's yeah. a really really great product and i can personally it's attest to that i know i've been listening this for like almost two years now i'm listening very high strong and to see the difference that tonic really does for her it's wonderful i've tried tonic it was maybe two and a half years to almost three years ago when i first tried tonic it helped me well and I, uh, I love it. Tonic, T-O-N-I-C, and the website is tonicvibes.com um, if you would like to check out the brand. Man, this has been a great live. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to let us know. If there's any topics you want to cover and on future episodes of Hemp Hotline, please let us know. We are always here for you. I want to also let those of you who are watching the brands I have really bad hands, so being on the phone itself, not just the computer, my hands are hurting really, really bad. So please be patient with, with, with me when it comes to answering your emails, uh, when it comes to answering messages. We are a team of three, me and Melissa and Kalina. We do not earn a living doing what we do. We bring some income from sponsorships, some income from um, consultations, but we do not get paid to promote brands. Um, pop, in contrary to popular belief, we do not participate in CBD affiliates to promote these brands. We do this out of love for the community. If a brand is doing things the right way, we, we mention it to the community so that you can be like, hey, we recommended this. And like you know, I have no problems calling anybody out. There's brands who have sponsored us, and not even two weeks later, I call them out. You know, because at the end of the day, I want to do things the right way. I'm very careful, you know, with how I do things. Last thing I want is to be sued for, um, for lying and for just um, unnecessary, you know, things. But please, please be, just be, be mindful that we are a small team. We're doing all this for love. We are working hard to bring in... Um, more income, we are working hard to bring in um, funding. The hardest thing for us is because we don't have a physical product like CBD, it's hard for us to bring in funding. 
because we're more of an education. We are the watchdogs for this community. And being in the watchdogs, we are hated by most of the industry. And so it's an uphill battle. This is why we constantly ask for your support by donating and supporting our current fund. And those of you who've donated, we, we want to thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, I highly want to tell the brands out there that you telling us thank you goes a long way, but we also appreciate if you just mention on your stories, hey, go check out what CD reviews are doing. Um, please go donate a dollar to the crowdfund. There's brands that have over 200K that we've been supporting for three years who all they care about is reviews. They don't care about us. All they want is just the product reviews. And I'm like, this is supposed to be about a community. If we're helping you um, because your product is great and we mention it to you, the community, how, how hard is it to say, hey everyone, um, please go support um, CB Reviews and all the things they're doing for the community. And that's not what's happening. And now that we're actually slowly able to get products tested, it's even harder for us now because most brands are actually going away from us because of what we're doing. And it's okay. But I just want the community to know that, you know, it's an uphill battle for us. It's a struggle. But we're here every day continuing to push through for the community. So I'm not going anywhere. I know Melissa's not going anywhere. And Kalina's is not going anywhere. And I know brands that we really helped over the past three years are really appreciative of us. So we love you all so much. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Thank you all so much. Those of you who are watching on YouTube, on Facebook, and IGTV, I hopefully this is a good way for you to tune in with us. I know a lot of you have been asking us to record this, and by doing this more um, educational with me and Melissa, I hope this helps. Please let me know if this is able to um, a good way for you. I love any feedback so that I can do this better. Thank you. I love you all so much, man. Man, this is wonderful. See you all on Thursday. What's going on Thursday, Melissa? 2 p.m. Pacific. 5 on Thursday. Yes, 5 p.m. Eastern. Jaina Woodbury from the Rudy Company. She's a Rudy mom. She's going to be here with Melissa talking about her company. I'm so excited to be here. Um, that's 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific, right here in CBD. That how it's going to be fun, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Thank you so much, Melissa. Sure is Karen as always. Help us out, Bevan. Knowledge is power. And this is your space. And to all the haters out there, please, please, please take your CB. It's not, you know, the hate is, is, it doesn't really bit on you. It's just a self reflection If you take your CBD, yeah, it's going to help you a lot more. Take your CBD. Love you all. Peace, peace. Mm -hmm. Love, hug, my heart. Have a good night, everyone.